Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wolf just appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolf King. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. will drink your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolves!
shameful trick, Wolfkist. You are your father's child. Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorim. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Hard to do this, Leofred. Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnusons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Yeah! 
Take that! You're slowing. Bah! You are strong will pain. Burkrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Borgrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leobrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor, worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. 
A scroll. Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Wealth by thrones. Ugh, bad image. any black dog. Oswald lives! Give on! 
Shut your ass, Twig Spine. Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop. Silence, fool. So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? This swine is your prize. Come and get him. The people of the Saxon lover comes to fight. A miserable clan you lead, Ruit. Yes, and one that has bled this country dry for two summers. You are finished here, Ruit. Your battle is not yet won. <laughs> will have its king, and it will not be you. That bubbly worm in a cage. You must be blind to stand with such a man. Danes fighting for a Saxon king. The Sagas will scorn this day. For all your efforts, only the cold dark of Niflheim awaits you. Valhalla is my destiny. Fate will not be met today. Why does a game fight to the nail for a Saxon? This Saxon, they should be ruled, Wolfkist. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in. Why does a game fight to the nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all. He has an abundance of that which you do not. He is fit to rule, fit to lead. Yeah. You are not but a murderous plunder. <laughs> this land is rife with weakness. And you are just another blighted dot upon it. Nothing but a fire cannot purge. I'll... Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels, these Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. 
what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. To guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. Always getting in the way! I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now? I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. Oh! 
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds. Dress her in rags, and send her out into the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. Fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way. And he won't be alone. <laughs> His lapdog. You've stolen me from Frankia. There's the target. Shoot it. Christ is surely with us.
Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shit house. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. Man at sea may have gold and glory, but he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. with a whisper. What makes you think you still have power over me? Then why would you not show your true self? What is it you fear? My fear is beyond your imagining. Your fear, however, is well known among the dead. Foul experiments got awry. What shameful crime could have earned so twisted a fate? It's not the Nornir, but you and that bitch Brizzard who made me thus. Have you betrayed so many gods, Oathbreaker, that you no longer recognize the king? Yongun, why has hell raised you as this? Grotesque monstrosity. <laughs> I rebuilt myself from abandoned appendages and discarded flesh. 
a labor of loathing, fueled by vengeance and driven by hate. <laughs> <laughs> Me your foul breath, worm. <laughs> so the Our Father seeks his son. I too am fond of my young. They are the most comforting of foods. A worthy plan. Call your kind into oblivion. They bring nothing to the worlds. Terror. Pain. Death. These are not nothings, as I will be happy to show you!
not persistent, Mavi. Where is Balder? And single-minded. Tell me, what do you think of my home? How does it compare to your early memories of the place? Strange. I cannot recall how it was in the past. Nevertheless, this place feels oddly familiar. <laughs> that is neither here nor there. Where is my son? Where is Balder? He is dead and beyond your reach. What will it take for you to accept that? Nothing short of hearing it from Balder's own lips. I know you better than you think, Harvey. Even his word would not suffice. Bring me to Balder, or prepare for battle. <laughs> what do you think I've been doing? Fight again! <laughs> 
now that you know who holds real power here, give me my son. I knew this plan was doomed to fail. It is a hard thing to separate memory from a man without destroying both. So you have been affecting my memories. Why? Why go to such effort to cloud my thoughts and blunt my will? <gasps> the process was not a total failure after all. You really do not remember this was Baldur's idea. Baldur would never use me thus. He would take it to the great purpose. He planned everything, but left the execution to me. My only concession was not killing you. But why would you help him? What do you stand to gain? Is it so hard to believe that one who has seen so much death could be drawn to the light? I need to hear this from his lips. That can be arranged. <laughs> Balder. Hello, Father. Welcome to my sanctuary. Not much, but it will serve till the end of this world. Hell told me a tale. I did not want to believe it. All of it is true. To fulfill my destiny, my enemies must think me dead. I cannot risk them learning otherwise. Not even from you. Who are these enemies? I will wipe them from the world! It is not your fight, father. This struggle will stretch well beyond your final battle. So you tried, relieving me of my memories. But if that did not work... You must sacrifice Moonin. Your memories will not be lost. I will keep them safe. And I will gift you a new raven. Sunin. To help you look forward. There is so much I want to say. We do not value the time we have until there is nothing left. But we have already exchanged more goodbyes than you know. Balder, you're the one pure thing I've brought into the worlds. That is why I need you back. To help balance things. I feel your love, father. The memory will warm me. But your world belongs to darkness, and I must bring light to a new age. Then rip it from my heart. Sear it from my skull. Leave no trace of a feeling for you. Else, life will be unbearable. You will bear it. <laughs> Goodbye, father. Drunk.
had the whole meat there. Haul him up there, to the top. And keep him breathing. Finish this quickly, Ivar. See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal. The blood eagle. Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. <laughs> of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. <laughs> The fog between good and evil grows thick over time, but glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out, come lungs! And we spread them like wings. All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell! You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face, the friends one must betray, to achieve one's destiny, and become king-killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! Or to fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! A storm of mindless chaos! Mindless? Bleed <laughs> like Jailbert!
Ravens! Bleed! Like jailbirds! Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, wolf kissed? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Gold again! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Uh, do not shame him. I hear... I hear their wings. <sighs> Before I let you take this fortress! Take this fortress, Dane. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. 
a holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Wolfkist, this ends now. Dak, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dad. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death.
you spew nonsense, Dak? This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will be it quick. Pathetic! Stop! I do not want to do this! Walk away! Forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. I should not have come to this, old friend. If you gave no quarter in life, you will receive none in death. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this! This is the answer I gave him! Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. 
You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. <clears throat> you survived my trap. How disappointing. Invaders from Jotunheim. We slaughtered them all. Buri's Ballsack! Can I kill him now? We do not need this honor cheat. We will complete the tower ourselves. My Hugur makes it work! I am bound to it through the magic of your realm! You perverted our sacred waters. We have every reason to kill you. Well reasoned. They should call you the god of hindsight. All-knowing after the fact. I will finish the inscription. Builder, you stay with me. You others go. Elhas, for protection. You godless worm! Slayer of my kin! Oathbreaker! Spirit taker! I didn't build this tower to keep your enemies out! I built it to keep you in! You thought you could slay my people without punishment or price? You and your slab had its son? Their lives were the price of their arrogance. His head is exposed. Reach it. But you do not control them! Control them? I only wish to survive them.
my Yotna! Your time has passed. There's no turning back the seasons. If our doom is assured, I will ensure that you share it! Magic dies with him. Does that worry you, trickster? What are you implying? Were you behind this? You dishonorable truth tangler. What do you know of honor, Freya? You've bedded more men than all the halls in Midgard. You're a fine one to talk of sexual appetites. You fathered a wolf cop. I'll not hear a lecture from the Lord of Petty Rules, who stiffens at the thought of laying down the law. And before you threaten to brandish your hammer, Thor, remember, without it, you'd be no better than a troll. Only twice as stupid. Oh! You festering ball sack swollen with the foulest drippings of Emir's corpse. No oath is worth this abuse. But you won't break it, Harvey. You cannot. All your efforts to evade destiny will only fling you further along its course. If you're not careful, you may be the author of your own destruction. <clears throat> Leave him. He will do little harm while his son remains captive. A mouthful of iron would put a stop to his babbling. What now, wise one? We have returned to the place from which we set out. Ragnarok is coming, and we are no safer. There may be a solution in Jotunheim. Huga magic, they call it. I will travel there to see it for myself. Until I have the final binding, Loki's son must not leave that island. In time, it shall serve as a sanctuary for all wolves. I will watch over him, as one of my own kin. Then I'll leave the realm in your capable hands, my queen. If my own I empty when I return, I will accept destiny with both. Flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn. I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory, as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. 
Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Too soon, Hemingayal. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. Indecision. You late warriors now. Never waver. You did, Hemingayal. You did. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, save for you have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? Loki? You should have the sense to stay far away from me after what you did. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death!
done with my daughter? Are you getting weak, Harvey? Is the sweat in your arm fading? Uh, I should take cover. I have lived too long to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidekin said to find her Mimi as well. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungar, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar, not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favors, Trixer, and you are welcome to try. When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! You meant to have me killed! I will never forget that! I wait till Ragnarok when you can die now. No quit! 
quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! I will feed your corpse to Fenrir! Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! Ragnarok, then you can die now. Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated! All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! Fulke. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Brother! Brother! I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. Okay, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. If 
you will not raise your eyes to the light. I will burn you in the dark. So you can fight after all. You meddle in matters you do not understand. Not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned. Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archer, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl, and you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. to hell! Fulkay! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. My flesh, but my work will live on for all time. Was necessary. 
necessary to free him. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I, I will fight. As a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves! Death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron! Stay your blade! Or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Deftar is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, 
his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer spinning twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. We're in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! <laughs> to Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years, you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend.
end of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my honor. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. Return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die, you must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation, but out there, it's not too late. Every day, the same empty war, the same hollow victory, spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay.
why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. To paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still, you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. <laughs> Fight me. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. <laughs> Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Ah. Then I am done with dreaming. Ah! 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 
upon my command.
once more. Avon, be careful! Basim? What is this? Come closer, Avon. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist! You broke all my hopes! He's mad, Eivor! Silence him! Come, Eivor! Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens! <coughs> Ah! Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go! Kill that background! You must suffer a thousand times what I suffered! What is this about? My son, Eivor! This is about my son! You speak nonsense, Basim! Thought and bled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory.
us make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? Not here. for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went. In fealty to our master. <laughs> Who's your master? Is he here? 
<laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these... possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these. Searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes.
Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla? <sighs> the air of memories fulfilled her role perfectly. Sean, Bex, I, I had a choice, and I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. We have work to do, work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say, but we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world you still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, nope, no. Nope. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Abel, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone. And this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. 
Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. For all your boasts, warrior, I scratch at you like a cat. You yap like a dog! No fear of death, for this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. If I must strike down all of England to subdue her, let it begin with you. Oh, Lord. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Ah! Henry! A good word has come! <laughs> I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings. A collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, 
and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. <sighs> I smell something sour. Wear the color. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. <laughs> Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. these things.
Strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help. King of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring a gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir, Oasir, cross these walls. I am the gate of Paris!
have fallen! The city is ours! Spare no one! By Sif and Tyr, the day is ours! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! You... You foul beast! You Northmen slaughtered my brother! Now... I shall wreak a terrible vengeance upon you. He stood in my way. Now you, too, stand in my way. Oh, Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, how long shall the wicked triumph? Lord, into thy hands, I commend my spirit. <sighs> to hell's icy embrace I send thee, down in Niflheim, where the dragon dwells. Demands one of us
fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo, as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. There need not be blood for us to celebrate. We find countless reasons to feast. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves. Driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be. But for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grant. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. I need to go after him. Spread your wings, Sunan.
Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If it is death you want, fine, I will give it to you. But this is your doing, Siegfried. Finally! The fabled Eivor of Raven Clan has come. I knew it would come to this the moment I saw you. I did not come here to kill you. It is who we are! You are close, Eivor! This is your doing! You forced my hand! And I welcome the long dark! Chose this. May you find peace in the Great Hall, and when you drink with Father again, tell him of the glory I want for us. that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. 
It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. Soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this diable back to hell where it belongs. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop. I will you the Lord. I am his wrath! I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. 
You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles, so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has filled here in Francia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. The one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You are still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. Him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again.
Count Odo, who will rule this kingdom when you are dead. I will crush his pits in an iron press for this! He fears the fire for a reason. I done to you. It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and a mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. I'm glad this can't
what she's trying to do, but she's angry. This is my fault. I must speak with her. It may be too late for that. She said she would not let you erase the druids. But what means would she use? The Lea Fall. I think she will try to use it to stop you. A stone? It is an ancient part of her lineage. There may be more to it than myths and legends. I knew my decision would upset her. But I was certain she could find a way to understand me. It was no simple decision. By choosing one, you betrayed the other. Choices that weigh heavily require ample time to reflect. You are to find the best outcome. I acted rashly. I listened to frightened men, Eivor. Men whose loyalty I hungered for. Clear your head, Lord. We're nearly there. Sword, Flon. Stay close to me. Eivor, what do we do? Fight! These are my men! It's them or you! Now fight! Get back! They will not listen! Kira has taken their reason somehow! Defend yourself! You walk this path! You would stand in my way? I thought you of all people would understand! I do! Listen, this is here. too far! There can be peace between us! Just another lie! God up. Kira, where are you? Kira! Long. Ah! Our race is stakes. How, How about the king's blood, blood on your hands? Eivor! This is no 
lot of force to control, killer. It will consume you. So be it. It's enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless raider. Hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With Garen, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He is my blood. Ah, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today. heartened over many victories. Do not make me add another. Do as you must. As will I. you I would never see the Druids into darkness. Why pretend to be my ally? I pretended nothing, I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon! No? Look around you. You set in motion what the children of Danu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. Always have been. After mother died, I became the last.
the last who could awaken the Leofar. Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Danu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. This is a sacrifice that would honor your gods. I will make it swift. Thank you. Prepare yourself. never again be used for harm. She did not die for nothing. I will make damn sure of that. Drink deeply. You'll remember. Balar is ancient. He is chaos itself. Defeat him, and the spear is yours.
Your blows are as weak as your wounds.
Wish you had let me get a few kicks in. Bastard almost ate me once. Then it is over? The Muspas will be in disarray. Not while Surtur is in power. Tell me more of the relics and what you did with them. What happened in the vault? What do you think? Glod tortured me, commanded me to revive the relics, then extract their magic so that Surtur might use it in some way. And you could not? How fucking dare you? Of course I could, but not for shit like him. Of course, Glod was too dim to see that I was dispelling the magic rather than storing it. And as soon as I knew you were coming, I gutted the relics, rendered them useless. So no mighty weapon for that prick Surtur. It is unwise to underestimate such an enemy. But you were short-sighted, Ivaldi. I could have made good use of that magic. Well, if it's items of power you seek. During my imprisonment, I heard rumors. Surtur is building something. Something small, yet very, very potent. And highly valuable to him. So valuable that if it were to fall into your hands, you might do some real damage here, I think. Music to my ears. I will seek out wisdom on the subject, more ancient and advanced than even my own. But first I must equip myself with some decent tools. Starting with a hammer and maybe a chisel or two. I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around. Unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To know fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete, then... Believe me, you will know fear and pain, just like your son. Suter will be surprised when you send him with his own doors empty. But I will be sure he knows the truth.
Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst! You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta! Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Moospil sacrifices... You need it only look inward. Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Selikar still requires the hooker of a suitable Jotun. Calder never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this bauble share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. down his gullet. His torment was quite beautiful. Blind fool. You never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. His light gone before you even set foot here. And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim. Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! Traitor. You were never worth my effort. A 
I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it. that truth away. Build a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound, poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. Come to the flame! Scratch 
Twilight comes. Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that.
this room. Just a key. That, on the other hand, have a key. You want the rest? Come, claim it. You really shouldn't have come here. You come and claim it. From the fire! I am the fire!
So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. The power of my son! Would have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. And this feeble state, this light will devour you whole! 